Anyway, um, so, while we are here, well, as I was walking around thinking like, oh crap, I can't purify Dodrio, sure enough, it actually is ready for purification already, awesome! My Dodrio, what a low polygon model you have. Let's see, we got level 30, oh, we got Drill Peck, of course. Definitely a good move there. Best move you could ever hope for in Dodrio. Baton Baz, of course. 24,500 experience. How many levels is that getting us? 35? Dodrio wants to learn Uproar. Not going to go for it because I personally prefer Try Attack. 39. And that is it. Dodrio is already leveled. No, I didn't mean to hit no on that crap. Now I have to walk up to the name raider. I was going to do a thing and everything. Damn it. Anyway. Time for me to make that long trek back through Citadel Archive. I'll see you guys in just a moment. This is roughly where we were last time. Now, what I didn't do last time was ride this twice. Every other time, this lift will come up and you can ride it down. If you choose to ride this down, you'll end up in this area. You might have seen it off in the distance earlier. This item will give you two... Item, this item box will give you two max potions. So once again, great. No, come back. No. How is that thing submerging itself in lava and being perfectly fine? I will never know. All right, and now we are back to the gigantic spiral that very lovingly gave us three uh, uh, rare candies. Of course, the mirror radar losing the signals. The important thing, of course, you mustn't ever lose sight of mirror B. Now, we get the return of this crane puzzle type thing. I'm not really sure, like, how these were in Dr. Kaminko's lab or anything, but then it hits you. Dr. Kaminko got help designing this maze from Professor Crane! Haha, <laughs> I couldn't resist. I am so, so... Yeah, I, I am... I'm just crazy for puns, I'm sorry. It's like I have some kind of clinical illness that makes me unable to not make puns. Uh, I, I I can't get over it, and the thing is, maybe that's why I like Pokemon so much. All their names are bad puns, and for those uh, three timer balls, damn. And for the, all those that say that you know, just the you know the stupid English names ruining everything, like all localizations do. Now, if you have any knowledge of the Japanese language, they're all the same terrible puns, just with Japanese words instead of English words. No, wow, okay, I'm surprised, but hey, we got a trainer. Roar! Watch your head. Keep an eye on the ground too. Uh, okay, you really had to pre preface that with a roar. I get you, Geftal. Uh, I got nothing. I'm sorry. You guys are just getting names that are too weird for words. All right, so along with a really fun idle animation and an even more fun attacking animation. All right, let's throw this ball. Let's see if we can catch it. One. Damn, that is a cool attacking animation too. It freaking uses its tongue as a leg to like. Oh god, what do you call that? Like. I don't know what it's called, I'll put a picture of it on screen right now. I feel like an idiot for not knowing what that is, because I used to actually do that. But, it freaking like, pivots itself off of its tongue to jump through the air and attack you. If that's not a cool looking Pokemon, I don't know what is. One. Two. Three. Dun 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 dun. And now, I guess I do have to be fair, I will now fill your nightmares with what Lickitung looks like with its tongue not outside of its head. <laughs> Whoops, you swept me off my feet. Yep, you bet I did. Okay. So, the team of Billy, Bob, and Jinzo, I can't say enough good about them. They are awesome. Now, I believe that if you fall down right here, indeed, the floor disappears out from under you, it's just light. And of course, they have you going into a pit of lava and it kills you instantly. No. That would be what smart antagonists would do. Instead, it just drops you down to the floor below, and you can now get the item boxes and access cranes that you couldn't before, and would you stop interrupting me, friggin' notifications. If I can praise them on anything, they're at least nice and forgiving, making it so that you don't have to worry about falling down the same pit twice. You get three max ethers right here, pretty much all the PP you could ever want in any tight situation where you haven't healed in a while. Let's see, where else could we go by dropping down these holes? Uh, this really isn't useful. Aha! That one will take you to this item box over here. You get one max revive here. All right. Again, you got some long battles coming up ahead. That is a very, very useful item to pick up. This orange crane finally is my servant. And we got ourselves a good item. So do you guys want to know what type of gamer I am, if you haven't guessed already? 
I'm the type of gamer that has to fall down every single one of these holes and come back to this room before I can move on to the next area, just because even though I know I've gotten all the items that are below this area, I can't help it. I really, really can't. Now I gotta fall down every one of these holes to see if I've missed anything in one of these, even though I know for a fact that this is the only area that's gonna have anything. Two revives. Checked every last one of them, and I knew I was right the whole time. Four full heals. That was really hard to say. Four full heals here are my compensation. Kie! What is it with you guys saying weird names when you fall down? You're never getting by me. I'll be yelled at if I don't stop you. I gotta wonder how many people get yelled at by Gribble a day. Ledin. Uh, do you have Ledian on your team? Yeah, that's all I got. I want to know if you have that. You have Stalor and Exploud. Okay, some fairly underrated normal types. I wouldn't really say either of them are great, but... Okay. Stantler barely survives, of course. Doing stomp, okay. On Billy Bob, because why not? Everybody just seems to love attacking Billy Bob with normal type moves. Uh, Explode, are you gonna join in the fun? Yes, he is! It's like a game, seeing who can do the most damage with a normal type move on an aggron. That's uh, so wonderful. Billy Bob flinched! Come on. Seriously, you flinched to a Stantler or Explode, whichever one that caused you. Let's just take out Explode quickly. Uh, you know, it's weird whenever a clay doll's the fastest one on the field, but okay. Take you out. What are you sending out next, buddy? Come on, you gotta give me more to work with here besides Explode's funny face when it faints. Come on. Let's see, what can I do here? Uh, I'm a little bit worried that something is gonna come out into that earthquake that I'm not expecting. Something that would easily die to that earthquake, because Scyther is not gonna get hurt by it, so it's not gonna give me the modifier by having it only hit, uh, oh no, um, well, I said that I thought a Pokemon that would easily die to Earthquake would be coming out, yeah, Chansey, um, I'll just put its stats on screen immediately, it's got five different, yes, it missed, oh my god, oh, I never thought I'd be happy to see Earthquake actually somehow miss, but sure enough, it did, all right, Chansey, oh, uh, wow, I thought I was done talking about Chansey. It's got Shadow Hold, which, you know, is like mean look on both opponents. That makes this a pretty dang brutal Shadow Chansey, just saying. I mean, I know that it doesn't really have, I know that Thunderbolt is going to be locked to you until you purify it, though, but even with that, just the fact that it has that, and it can trap its opponents with the special defense and HP that it's got, that's mean. Hey, Scyther. You know those words that I was saying earlier to Pinsir? How it feels so good not having to buy you from the Rocket Game Corner catching the Safari Zone? Same applies here, buddy! And oh man, does the same apply for Chansey. Feels so good catching this thing. I, I gotta say, I always felt like back in the early days of Pokemon, Chansey was the toughest thing to catch just because it was only in Safari Zone, so rare, and uh, I always hated catching it. In fact, I remember that in my circle of friends playing Pokemon Red and Blue when I was growing up, that Chansey was the very last Pokemon any of us needed. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, you lost your Chansey and your Scyther. I really hope you didn't earn those the old-fashioned way, because if you did, I genuinely feel bad for you losing them. But yeah, I remember that. That was very, very not fun. I remember that being the very last Pokemon any of us needed, and that Chansey got traded around so much that day it wasn't even funny. Anyway. We've got...